All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Ra Kodash. All right, which is the Most High, Yahweh. All right, He to be. All right, He is. He exists. All right, Bahasham, Ba in Ha the Shum name. All right. Yah Hawashai, all right, he deliverer, all right, and he's the deliverer of the nation of Israel, St. Matthew 1 and 21, okay, Bahasham in the name, Racha Kodash, all right, which is the Holy Spirit, okay, and I, that, that's saying it in the, uh, in the ancient Hebrew, okay, so, um, uh, I also, the, and I want to say the reason why I'm saying it like that is because, again, there are a lot of uh, new brothers and sisters that's waking up to the faith, man. Okay. So, all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash, and double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. All right. And I want to say peace and blessings. Unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And I just got a quick lesson, man. Um, I was um, thinking about a brother, uh, elder brother had told me um, to embrace my office, the, my, the part, you know, my doing my part in this troop, you know, and I had been meditating on that, like, for a few days now, you know, embrace it, and I had looked up the definition, as a matter of fact, let me get this dictionary too, Salakia, okay, because I didn't think to look it up in here. But I had looked it up on the Etamar, A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. Uh, let me get it in here, too. Let me get these reading glasses. So like it. But these words are a lot smaller. All right. Let me see. A, B, C, embrace. Uh, embrace. Okay. All right. And let me see. I'm going to read it yeah, out of this dictionary first. Okay. And then um, I'll, I'll read it out off the uh, online etymology. Okay. So this is the definition of embrace. All right. It says to take or clasp in the arms, press to the bosom, hug. All right. To take or receive gladly or eagerly, accept willingly. Okay? It says, to avail oneself of, to adopt, all right? To take in with the eye or the mind. Mm. It says, to encircle, surround, enclose. To include or contain, all right? To join in an embrace. So, become one with it. Okay? Embrace it. Whatever, whatever um, office you may have, you know, I would always think about, the apostles would talk about, you know, you know, if you holding posts, hold posts. If you holding up signs, hold signs. You know, when I first went out the first time, all I did was hold a sign, you know? But I I wanted everybody to see that sign, you know? It was up, <laughs> you know? So what I'm saying is that I took holding that sign very important. It was very important. And... Everything that we do in this truth, 
or for the truth, for the body, for the, uh, which that's what I was looking into. You know, I was reading about, you know, this is the body of the Lord, this church. Okay. And I'm going to get, uh, uh, some scriptures to prove that. All right. And the scriptures also tell you that there's a time to embrace and a time to refrain. If matter of fact, I, uh, it's in the book of Ecclesiastes. I had looked it up. It's in three and five. I want to bring that out real quick. Okay. Because there's a time and a season for everything. Okay. And it says specifically embracing. All right. So this is Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse five. It says a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing the things that we need to be embracing. The thing or the thing that we need to embrace the most is what we got to do in this truth. And the things that we from we should refrain from embracing are the things of this world. Okay? These are the things that we should, you know, refrain from embracing, you know. It's like an and like a elder apostle Gabor always say, especially in these times. And that's a a statement for your ass. Because we at the end. This is it. Okay. Um, now, what was I going to get? Because that was a, a heavy definition out of there. As a matter of fact, let me read the one on here. It says, clasping the arms, that is just said that um, enclose, covet, covet, you know. And um, there's an unrighteous covet, covetousness, all right? And there's a righteous covetousness. The scriptures speak about uh, coveting to prophesy, okay? Um, enclose, cope with, handle. I was trying to see if it had anything else. Okay. So, yeah. But I want to get... Uh, a couple of scriptures. I want to get. Um, that should be on it. Let me see. No, this is not the one. Uh, let's see. Let me just do this. Salakia. Let me go to which I was reading this chapter in uh, First Timothy two, man. Which, uh. I might get that, but let me bring out this scripture first. Okay. Let me go to the book of uh, Colossians. Let's go to chapter 1. And I'm going to read verse 18 first. And then I'm going to read verse uh, 24. That's, that's uh, two precepts. Okay. So the first one is first Colossians. I, I mean first Colossians. <laughs> ah damn. Colossians 1 and verse 18. It says, and he is the head of the body. Alright. So who is this talking about? Who is this he? It says the church. Okay, so now it's letting you know that the body is the church, and he is the head of the body, the church. Who is the beginning, all right, the firstborn, all right, from the dead? Who is that? Now, we know who that's talking about. It's talking about Yahawashah, all right, the deliverer, all right, that in all things he might have preeminence. So let's read it again from who is, who is the beginning. It says, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. All right. So the body is the church. Okay. So let's drop to verse 24. And it reads. Who now rejoice in my sufferings 
for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Hamashiach, all right, the anointed, okay, because we don't, uh, you have to be careful and, and really just kind of, you know, not kind of, but stay away from guys that are preaching Christ, okay, we're not preaching Christ, we, we are preaching the anointed, all right, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, all right, the anointed one, okay, but not Christ, man, that you stay away from, that's a fair warning, stay away from guys that are preaching Christ, all right, because we got to know the names, man, how else you going to call on the Heavenly Father and His Son, you ain't going to be calling on no Christ, especially in, in the time of calamity, okay, The last thing Jake gonna be hollering about is some Christ. And Jake know that. But you don't want the Lord to say, I never knew you, man. And not get nothing. No answer and, and death come to you. It's that serious. Well, what was that? Colossians. Yeah, first Colossians. Colossians 1 and... uh. 24 it says who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Hamashiach all right in my flesh for his body's sake so for the Lord's body's sake which is the church you see so everything that we do in this body is the church okay this is the this the the handling of the, the body of the Lord, man, is is that serious. So we have to embrace, all right, going back to the word, embrace whatever office we may have, okay? And and, and do it to the best of our ability, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. You know what? I was going to get that, but I'm not going to get that for the sake of time. You know, um, that not I, I hope the I pray that the point was made, man. You know, hopefully it was made. You know, and uh, Lord willing, okay, which is what I should have said, Salakia, Lord willing, okay, uh, and Lord willing, you know, Lord willingness was edifying, but whatever, you know, it is that you're doing particularly. Whatever it is, man, again, even if you just a help, man, do that to the best of your ability. You know, embrace it. You know, become one with what it is that you're doing in this truth. Okay? So with that, I'm going to end it, and it's on to the next one. Until then, I say shower warm.